I was just shocked. It was like kind of shocking. Shocking because a report says his fourth grade teacher was involved with the Carver cheating scandal. Your job is here to, to set them on the right path and direct them which way to go and let them go on their own. It's not for you to hold their hand and tell them, hey, A is A and B is B. In the report, a fourth grader says Mr. Osborne told students to raise their hands when they got to the yellow triangle so he could look at their answers. He'll be like, raise your hand, and we'll raise our hand, and he'll come around. He'll look at our screens and stuff. We'll just sit there. I'll sit there, and I'll look at the screen. I'll think about this answer that I put down. And then he'll just go past me. He'll go from me to the next student, to the next student, and to the next student. The report goes on to say a VDOE administrator was in the room during the SOL retest and Mr. Osborne said, don't raise your hand, just keep going. Javon is one of the students who took the retest. The second time going around, he didn't do it. The report states some individuals went to students' homes encouraging them not to take the retest. The former PTA president, Mariah White, is mentioned as one of those individuals but denies it. No, it's not true. No, it's not true. The report says the PTA president was working in the community to get parents to opt out of retaking the SOL. I did not true? go to no door to door. What I did do is there was a big sign, two big signs that was placed outside of the school that said opt out and I stood there.